So staying within mainstream finance, but moving from private equity to banking, I'm excited to have with us today Keith Mestrich, the president of Amalgamated Bank, which has recently integrated New Resource Bank to become a nationwide socially responsible bank. And Keith has another announcement to share with us today on the SOCAP stage, so please welcome Keith Mestrich. Thanks, Lindsay. Good afternoon, everyone. So this is the first part of my announcement, and it's something that will take none of you by surprise, and that's that we have a climate crisis in this globe. Big surprise, right? I'm going to tell you something else that uh, won't surprise you at all. We're only going to take care of it if all of our institutions, governments and nonprofits and for-profit companies, figure out what they're going to do about it, and individuals take responsibility to figure out how they are going to make their contribution to dealing with the climate crisis that we have in this country. So the question that we've put before ourselves at The Amalgamated is, well, what can we do as a bank? And as we've thought about that, we thought, well, what do we do that actually contributes value um, to, so to society more generally and at large? And that's what we do with the deposits that all of you put in our institution, and when we lend them out, how do we actually make impactful loans that actually make a contribution to society? And what we at Amalgamated Bank announced earlier this morning is that we were not going to just take that uh, very de you know, dear, deep responsibility that we have to make loans to drive value for our customers and for society lightly anymore that we are actually going to begin the process of evaluating every loan that we make, every investment that we make in our security portfolio, and measure the impact that it has on climate in the country. And we were very proud to announce this morning that we will be the first bank in North America to lead a consortium of other banks that will actually measure the impact of our loan portfolio using the science that underlines the Paris Climate Accord. Thanks. Thanks. Um, it's, it's something that I think is really important to do. It's a place where we can make impact. We're not the world's biggest bank, but we have a $3.5 billion loan portfolio. That's three and a half billions of loans that we are committing to not actually be part of the problem, to not contribute to the climate crisis, to not you know, make the carbon footprint in this country even worse than it is today. But we are going to actually try and do that, and hopefully by example that we will lead so that other commercial banks across the country do the same thing and think about their lending portfolios so that over time we can actually assess what we are actually lending money for and actually make sure that it's doing something good in this world as opposed to contributing to the existential crisis that we have um, that endangers um, the lives of not only all of us but more importantly our children. Um, so we aren't going to do this alone. We're doing it in conjunction with a number of other banks who are part of the Global Alliance for Banking on Values um, here in the United States. We're doing it in conjunction with many of our European um, um, colleagues um, that, are, that are actually ahead of us in assessing what's actually happening. And most importantly, we're doing it in cooperation with many of our clients. It's our clients who actually are driving us to do this. This is what they want. They want to have an institution where they know when they put their dollars in the bank every night that it's actually going somewhere that's contributing to something good and not to something that's contributing towards the degradation of the, of, of the planet. So we're very proud of this today. We're very proud to do this with our customers. And we're proud to announce that here at SoCap and let all of you know that that's, that's something that we're working on. Thank you. <laughs> 